Hey, it's Brickzar. We're going to be showing you a very special Lego set. This is from 2004. It is a designer set, but it is dinos. It's, yes, we got dinosaurs here. We got a T-Rex, a Pterodon, and I think that's a Stegosaurus. I don't know, but it's a pretty cool set. Uh, you can build all three of these models at the same time. But it has tons of alternate builds in the instructions. Doesn't say that it's a three in one or four in one or whatever on the box, but the designer sets typically you could build a whole bunch of different models and then it even gives you suggestions that don't have the instructions. So, very excited to have this set. It is actually one of the largest uh, builds for a dinosaur uh, that I have seen. So, we're going to show you these three dinosaurs up close. I will say that this set is not Brickzar proof. Um, in fact, as I'm recording this now, I haven't even done the close-ups, but I can guarantee you something's going to break. So, watch the up-close look at each of these dinosaurs, and then we'll come back and compare it to the modern dinosaurs. So we're going to do our up-close look at each of these dinosaurs. I'm still kind of afraid to touch the T-Rex at this point. But we'll, we'll do it last. We'll start with the pterodon, then go to the stegosaurus, and then the T-Rex. So let's look at the pterodon first. Now here is the pterodon. It's got these kind of dark orange colors. There's the bottom of it, what it looks like. Um, and it's, it's, you build it and it's in the flying motion, so the, the feet are back here. Um, it's got a little clip there on its the tip of its wings. These parts here do fold. And you, can, you can kind of do it. Did not expect that to happen. Um, you can do it um, like it's flying. I would like to have seen maybe if they could have added a hinge piece here. You can move the head down like that, but you can't open the mouth. I would like to see it where you can open the mouth. And it's, that one's a real quick build. In fact, in the book, I think it's under the beginners. Uh, they kind of group things by different levels in the book. And it was uh, the beginner. All right, next up is this Stegosaurus. This is the medium level. They called it an uh, experienced build. I'll show you the book at the uh, in a minute. But it's, it's uh, yeah, the experienced build. So it does have not as many um, moving parts. The tail moves. You got these hinges. That's supposed to move. There you go. And this is that dinosaur that can you know, whip and hit things with its tail. You can move the head. I'm afraid to move things on these sets. But it's strictly brick built. Uh, again, the mouth doesn't move. The legs don't move. Um, the feet can yeah, it's kind of, you can do the feet like that. <laughs> Not really much point in that. They're, they're, they're just to hold the, kind of give you the um, studs not on top build. That's why they use those hinges there. But that is the Stegosaurus. Did I show you all sides? I think I built it right. That's under experienced build. It's time to get the T-Rex. I'm going to slide it up here. Uh, I have found that in moving this, I actually built it upstairs and I brought it down to the basement. It's best to hold it by the torso. Um, all the up, all the other times I held it, it kind of stuff would fall. But it is now I can't get it to. I lost the toe. This one, it gave me a lot of problems. Even when I build it, uh, pieces would fall off in the process of building it. You do kind of put the legs on near the end, but it's hard to pose. You'd think, after you get, when you're looking at an instruction booklet, you'd think, and this you could do like stop motion with it, but it does not have good balance unless you get it in just the right position. Uh, I kind of do want to get my hands away from this thing. I'm just trying to get it to stand up. This is why I said I don't want to really touch it once I get it 
standing. Can you even see it? All right. There's a trick to it, I think. It's kind of bow-legged sometimes. It's a really cool model. I mean, I do like it. You just can't make them stand up sometimes. All right, let's use the tail for support. Now that part's coming off. I'm trying to remember how I had it standing up before. There we go. We got it. We got it! All right, now we can zoom in on it. Nope, that's too close. Yeah, this thing's a mess. Get that pterodon out of the way. Blocking everything. Move it away, seeing the tail of that other one there. All right, so I wanted to do that. You're like, that was a bad job of filming there. Why didn't you edit that? Well, this is what I was talking about at the beginning. This thing is so hard to move and position. I mean, it looks great. It's got the teeth. It's got the moving mouth. It's got the arms. It looks like you can make it do... Uh, you could do a stop motion with it. It's still just the way it looks, but this would be really, really, really hard to do a stop motion because it'd be so easy for it to get out of position. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the camera and just hold it so I can zoom in where I don't actually have to touch it. And then after that, maybe I'll touch it and see what happens. Okay, now we'll get you some better views of it up close. Look inside the mouth of the beast. There's his little hands. The feet. The tail. From above. From this side. Alright, and you can move the mouth. Move this arm. This is like playing um, Operation or something or Jenga. Every time you move something, it gets closer to falling. Uh oh. <laughs> so I'm going to turn them sideways. Don't fall. <sighs> he died. Well, I was going to sh do some more videos of it, but it looks like the pterodon has come in for a meal. Even the stegosaurus, who I think is a vegetarian. <sighs> so that is the T-Rex. Um, there are other parts of it that fall off uh, over the um, legs. The um, There's kind of an angled build there. That was what fell off the most. I didn't even, didn't even happen in this video. I never touched it there. But... It's kind of a flimsy build, but I still love this set. I love the build. It's something that if you could get it set up, maybe use the feet to kind of hold it into place somewhere and just leave it and not touch it and not let anybody who comes in there touch it, it would do great. But if this was somewhere where a kid could see it or Briggs are or somebody, the thing just falls apart. And that's what I wanted to show you. And here's what the box looks like. It should like it's called Prehistoric Creatures. It's 719 pieces, nine instructions, 26 ideas. And it does show you that it's got range of motion with some of the parts. And here's some of the ideas on the back. So when you're looking up this set, it doesn't have the word dinosaur in the title. So sometimes it might be overlooked in, when people are looking, I want to collect Lego dinosaur sets. So I pretty much have to look through all the sets. I'll get my catalog out and I'll go through all the sets until I find a dino set uh, or it has a dinosaur because a lot of the sets, or not a lot, but there are some sets that don't have dinosaur or dino in the name of the set, so it makes it hard when you're trying to find all the dino sets. Now we'll look at the instructions. And it has, we'll look at the front here. The top is the quick build, which was where the pterodon was, and then the middle is the experience build, and the T-Rex the and that triceratops are the expert build. 
And as you go through, it's got other ideas. In here, it's got a light bulb that means it's an idea. So that's for that's really advanced people. More ideas. And then so we've got nine sets or nine things that you can build. Now I know that you could build these three all at the same time. I don't know if you can build each of the others um, at the same time. How many of these you can mix and match, I don't really know that. And I'm not interested enough in these other ones and to even build them. Uh, they don't, they don't, maybe the Triceratops, but these, the three main models are the best looking. Oh, that alligator looking thing's okay. But I like the main models here on this one. A very cool designer set. All right, so it's a really cool set, but I want to compare the T Rex in this set to some of the other dinos that Lego has made over the years. Now, most recently, of course, we have the T-Rex from the Jurassic World, which is pretty much just like the T-Rex from the Lego Dino sets that came out in 2012. Look how much bigger this one is. And of course, the Indominus Rex is about the same size as the T-Rex. So, it's a lot bigger, isn't it? I don't know if you can see that. We'll put the T-Rex in front, put it behind. This is a lot bigger. Uh, this one from the Mutant dinosaur theme, the Lego Dino 2010, Dino Dino Attack. They uh, these are bigger than the Indominus Rex and the T Rex. Um, it's there we go. This one's harder to pose. These do better on base plates, and then of course the Dino, this is from the Spinosaurus Attack set, and there's uh, the Dino sets that came out in 2001 are the same size as this. I didn't get one of those out, but they're exactly the same size. They're the smallest of these. All right, let's look at some bigger dinosaurs. We got the Creator Dinosaur. This is kind of another mutant dino. It's got Glow in the Dork. Glow in the Dork. That's a new one. Glow, it's Glow in the Dork Dinosaur. So it's fatter than this one and it's not as long and it's actually about the same height um, of course this one's posed down I'm still afraid to touch it I got one more and this one's not as mobile but this is the Technic dinosaur it's actually attached to its control panel I have done a video of this one of the creator dinosaur, Dominus Rex Spinosaurus, and have not done, yet done the Dino Attack. Uh, all the big sets with those yet. We will be getting around to doing those. But that is my Dino collection. This one's pretty neat. It goes up and down and things, but it's um, it's basically it's attached to the <laughs> control unit. Uh, you could probably modify this with Mindstorms and make it more mobile. It wouldn't actually walk, though. You'd have to uh, do that yourself to make it walk. But um, for the year it came out, this is pretty cool. So it's a pretty big dinosaur from this designer set. Um, I think I, I, I definitely like this uh, build. Um, just love dinos. So thanks for watching this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up. I do have a playlist where I put all of my dino reviews and any video related to dinosaurs. I think my favorite, though, is They Might Be Bricks, Jurassic World that he built when he was eight years old. And I wish we'd had better cameras then. I wish we'd done more filming. But that was before we knew that people would want to see stuff on YouTube. I didn't post stuff on Flickr. Didn't take a lot of pictures of stuff. Just didn't think to do those things. But, uh... Maybe they might be bricks can take all these dinos and maybe make another Jurassic World. So thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. And be sure to subscribe. Be sure to check out some of the other things we do Lego related. And even they might be bricks channel. I'll put a card for his channel and you can see some of the things that he does. Thanks for watching. It's Briggs R. Welcome.
to dress park. My name is Jacob, and I built this Jurassic Park all by myself. No one helped me.